basic and most important principle of NDS 23 says that borrowing costs which are directly attributable to acquisition, construction and production of a qualifying asset forms part of cost of asset. First question is what is borrowing costs? Borrowing costs are interest and other costs that an entity incurs in connection with the borrowing of funds. So what is qualifying asset? A qualifying asset is an asset that necessarily takes a substantial period of time to get ready for its intended use or sale. This period is not defined in INDAS. Management exercises judgment when determining which assets are qualifying assets. We can say that an asset that normally takes more than a year to be ready for use will usually be a qualifying asset. Acquisition means you have purchased qualifying asset. Normally purchased asset will be always ready for use, right? Then how it can become qualified? Let's say some company has purchased permit for construction of building. License is ready to use. But since building project is for substantial period, and permit is linked to this qualifying asset of building construction. You can capitalize borrowing cost of permit. Construction means you have created qualifying asset e.g. building or large project. Then, borrowing cost of project can be capitalized. Production means you have produced qualifying asset. However please note that as per the provision of INDA S23, inventories which are produced in large quantity should not be considered as qualifying assets. If all these conditions are satisfied then borrowing cost can form cost of the asset. But what if cost is not directly attributable, then it should be recognized as expenses. Basic and most let's study qualifying assets exclusion. Biological assets can't be covered under qualifying assets. Because biological assets are covered under INDA S41 at fair market value. But what is meaning of biological assets? A biological assets is an animal or plant. It may be in the form of sheep, goats, buffaloes, plant, trees, crops. It means we can't capitalize borrowing cost to the biological assets. Le qualifying asset can be inventories, manufacturing plants, power generation facilities, intangible assets, investments properties. Qualifying asset cannot be biological assets, assets ready for use, inventories manufactured in large quantities on repetitive basis, financial assets. Borrowing costs may include interest expense, which should be calculated as per effective interest rate method as per in the S39. Finance charges in respect of finance lease. Exchange differences arising from foreign currency borrowings to the extent that they are regarded as an adjustment to interest costs. Decision on borrowing rate depends on type of borrowing. If funds are borrowed specifically for the purpose of obtaining a qualifying asset, actual borrowing cost incurred on that borrowing during the period should be capitalized. Any income on temporary investment of those borrowings should be deducted. If funds are borrowed generally funds and used for qualifying asset, borrowing cost are determined by applying a capitalization rate to the expenditure on that asset. Capitalization rate is the weighted average of the borrowing costs of the entity that are outstanding during the period, other than borrowings made specifically for the purpose of obtaining a qualifying asset. Now let's see practical problem on general borrowing. There is entity which has started construction of building on 1st of July 2017 and completed it on 30th of June 2018. Total cost of construction was 22 lakhs. Same was funded by a specific loan of 7 lakhs on which interest incurred during period was 65,000 and income earned was 20,000. Two general loans of 10 lakhs at 12.5% and 15 lakhs at 10% were taken on simple interest on 1st of July 2017. What is amount of borrowing cost to be capitalized? Expenditure pattern we will see in solution. First step is to calculate weighted average period of general borrowing for which we need to divide expenditure into specific and general borrowing, after which we need to identify period for which period expenditure is outstanding. Then we should calculate weighted average borrowing, which is period into expenditure divided by period of loan till capitalization date. Weighted average borrowing amount is 3,75,000. Expenditure incurred on 1st July and 30th September was out of special borrowing of 7 lakhs. So general borrowing remaining is 1 lakhs for period of 9 months. 
1 lakhs into 9 months divided by 12 months is equal to 75,000. Similarly we derived weighted average borrowing for other two expenditures. Finally total weighted average borrowing is 3 lakhs 75,000. Then we should calculate capitalization rate. Capitalization rate is equal to loan 1 into interest rate of loan 1 divided by total loan plus loan 2 into interest rate of loan 2 divided by total loan. Here expenditure amount is irrelevant. Capitalization rate is 11%. Interest to be capitalized is interest on specific loan which is 65,000 plus interest on general loan which weighted averaged borrowing calculated earlier into weighted average capitalization rate which is 41,250 in this case. We should deduct interest income on investment of borrowing. In this case borrowing to be capitalized is 86,250. Fuck it,